on the picture it's just a winch mount to the uh, um, bumper. Okay, look, that goes in there. Yeah, that's screwed on. I reckon you have to cut a hole in that to stick it in. Just for anybody who's watching, what we're trying to do is um, decide where the winch is going to be mounted on the front of the what building, the WPL C44 KM. Yeah. This is a metal kit. Metal kit. Which is really good. To be honest, look, it's servo, it's gone in nice. Underneath, little slot for it. So that's quite cool. For the panard thingy. Motor's gone in, front. Facing mount, front facing mount motor. Yeah, two speed gearbox is here with a little servo for it there. Uh, Got to do a bit of soldering with the. Uh, this is a motor wire that goes onto the the uh, V3. This has got um, uh, thing for a um, motor, left indicator, right indicator, tail light, headlight, speakers, which is like that um, and also this is what I like about this this here is a uh, extension plug that you can plug in another ESC now I don't think these are going to be very powerful but they do the job and they run the sound kit and everything else but if you wanted more power for your um, motor to give you more wheel speed or whatever you plug your ESC into that you notice that hasn't got a power so your ESC has got a power on, of its own on another battery and you plug your, uh, a, uh, probably a 2S will, will do into this and that will run your sound, lights, winch and your winch, okay. it should run your winch anyway. Okay, and, uh, and, the, and the gear shift. And the gear shift, and yep. then you've got another battery to run the motor to let lose power. External device, so that can be your winch. Oh that's really cool, I like that. That's good isn't it? It's really neat, you know. It's gone together really well. It has gone together really well. It feels, I mean, it's not, no, it's not, it's not bendy. No. I mean, it's a solid. It's a solid. It's chassis. solid, man. Really impressive. This is the uh, front axle, and um, got panel bars, steering rod ends, obviously. But I don't know if I can get this properly. Listen to this. That is a really smooth, and it hasn't run yet, it's just been built. A bit of grease in it for the uh, bearings because we, we like well, playing in water. And it's really nice. Shall we just put the rear axle in? I see that's clever isn't it, look, so you put, that, you put the motor in, you can't get the bloody... Hold on. Look, that's a little bit annoying, it says put the motor in and the instructions and then build all the axles. Well that's great, but because of the way that that two-speed gearbox is sitting, can you see that there? Yeah, that bit just there. This bit just here, this bit, this link, you can't, you can't get it on, there's not enough space. Okay. That's a so put, the, put the gearbox on after you put your links on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the, uh, that's the key there. And let's undo that one, and then we just drop the gearbox. For anybody who's wondering, this is a Zippy 1000 mile 3S LiPo. I normally run, use this to run my uh, Flysky uh, transmitter, but we're using this today to have a go at testing this KM44. Let's do that. Right, there, you go. there we go. So, what I've done is, if you can see, yeah. the two. Just flip the uh, for the skid thingy. For yeah, just flip that up like that, and you can put your yeah. Bring that over. Oh, man. See, this is where you need like octopus fingers. <laughs> you need like eight hands. Wrong one. Put that on the wrong one already. <laughs> oh man, that's tough. So you're watching professionals here, you know. <laughs> Bottom links. Are they on? Uh, it will be. That's the bottom one. Are they tight? Oh. To the vicar. To the vicar, to yeah. the bishop. Yeah. Um, are they, uh, they're not going to fall off. What, what are they? What, 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 what you just snapped on there, they're quite tight. Are they? Oh, they're proper tight, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah that, they, they snap on really well, actually. They do snap on really well. 
down, right, and then I'll just do these back up. After I know it's cheap and stuff, but it's all metal. It's all metal. The only thing that is a pain for people that are building these is, I mean, I've got a really. This is a fast tracks or something, you know, one of them where you take it out and you can use both ends. I've had it for years. It's about eighteen quid or something from some model shops, and um, it's a really good little tool to be honest. But I have to admit, I hate doing and using Phillips screws everywhere. Yeah, that's the only bug where I've got. Only bug with it is that they, <clears throat> and the screws aren't bad. They're not bad quality. It's got to be said, they're not bad quality at no. all. They don't seem to strip and so they're not stripped out. No, not stripped they? out, not rounded off. Um, there you go. Nice little bit of thingy. Um, but it would be really nice in the future if they actually had. If they upgraded basically. If they upgraded um, it and yeah, they had uh, some hex drives. Some hex drives. Yeah, that would be really quite lovely. To be honest. Um, you know, it can't be that much more expensive at the end of the day, I wouldn't have thought, not in this day and age. But um, that's my only proper bugbear is that it's got... Yeah, um, it's basically little screws like that. Quite a few of them. This is, the, this is an upgrade from the C14s that I built. So if you go back onto the channel and you look back about 8 millennia, you can see the red C14s you know that what, I built. Before I met you, before I met you, yeah. I had watched your uh, C14 build. Oh, yeah. I'd also watched Under your runner. yeah, and your um, <laughs> FTX. Yeah, I'll tell you what, go back and have a look at Paul's um, FTX stuff. Bloody brilliant! So much information <laughs> and really cool. Just little running videos and you know how this has worked and how that's worked. I love it and it's great. Can um, you remember um, when I said about um, a quick? Strip down to do the, to fill the axles up with grease, and I took the whole bloody truck apart. Do you remember that one? <laughs> it was so funny. Well, it's easy done though, anyway. Yeah, I, got, I kind of got carried away, and before I knew it, it was just in parts everywhere. <laughs> yeah, steering's a bit stiff. I've probably done that up too tight, but it doesn't give you the length for the steering link. It gives you the length for uh, steering arm, the panard, uh, all the links. All, all the links it gives you all the, the measurements for all of them really really good the only one it doesn't give you is for this to join up to the steering servo but it could just be because it could just be because I'm a big fan because at the end of the day I suppose what you're looking at is you've got to measure it and get it right yourself I suppose but it's going to fit and it's going to be fine you know it's going to be good yeah you just got to, so I just sort of put it on screwed it up a bit and I'll adjust it as we need to. But yeah, I have to admit, I think it's, it goes together. It does go together really well, mate. It goes together really well. Um, no problems with it at all so far. Been really nice. And if anybody's watching this, um, this is uh, we're actually on the fifth of March, twenty twenty. Uh, we're building these with the help of WPL. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the WPL. The WPL, because the Beds Electric RC Club has a under construction. Small scale, isn't it? It's a smaller scale. That's what we're going to call it. Yeah, small scale. Um, under construction, a well, it's not uh, off-road course. It's long like a trail area. Um, we've got like ropes, um, rope bridges going up to like. Uh, on the, on the platforms and then we've got a bridge and a tunnel and we've got mud pit if you want to go in there you don't have to it's yeah, not we'll going in the mud pit what yours one? not yet then no. it will eventually it will eventually yeah, yeah. you'll want to get brave yeah <laughs> 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 got to have one or two videos <laughs> got to have one or two runs with it before it um before yeah. you break it yeah when I get brave it'll go in there we'll um, that and yeah so if you're in the UK we're in Bedfordshire, we're 10 minutes from the M1. Yep. Go on Facebook, search for the BERCC, and you can bring your... Small w scales. Small scale, doesn't have to be WPL, because no, I know there's that. others out there, you've got the I mean, axle. The, the course, the course will be, is suitable for uh, 124 and upwards. 
Yeah. 118th, 116th, 114th. So the, the real stuff, the yeah, real small the, the stuff. The small stuff that's really scale. I mean, just, I haven't shown you the body yet, but the body for this is absolutely brilliant. I mean, it was really easy to put together. Just, it's a hard body. I followed the instructions, nice and simple, you know, um, just really nice to be honest. Doors open. Even the seats move inside. Yeah, the doors open. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll turn it around. Driver's side. Driver's side door opens. You can see that there's a steering wheel. Seats, pedals, there's gear levers and everything. And the seats, I don't know if you can tell, but if you look in there, the driver's seat is all the way back and the passenger seat is all the way forward. It's because they, they, they move on the plastic bits. You can set them where you want. Really good. It's um, so you can get different sized drivers in there, isn't it? Yeah, because like, well, Paul's shorter than I am, so when Paul wants Just to drive it, he can pull the seat forward. When I want to drive it, I'll put it back. Um, and then also, if you take the roof off, which is not screwed on, it's just pushed in, but it's, it's just a solid. Fit. Yep, snap fit roof. Oh, really? You can take the roof off and the uh, windscreen folds down, which is it's brilliant. It's just really nice the way it's done, you know. Um, I know people have said before, but the rear bed is plastic underneath, nice and solid with your spare tyre. But the bed is actually wooden. That's actually wood, which you know, it's not the most amazing thing in the world. But yeah, I know, but, really but good. it's good yeah, for it's just, scale it's just a real and all good that. Look. It's, and if um, you look on here, these are little clips for the you know the, uh, the bits that fold up and down on uh, flatbeds like this, even down to the fact that it's got a um, a guard here, so you don't dent the side of your real size truck. It's good. It's really good. It's, oh, it's great. I mean, uh, the instruction, the instruction manual. Are you ready for this, people? <laughs> this is the instruction manual. I'll, I'll take it across the screen. Go on. This is the instruction manual. Which is a piece of A3 paper. It's, it's a piece of A5 paper. And it's not that, and I'm laughing, because it's bloody small, and even with my reading glasses on, I'm struggling to read some of it. It is pretty but it's small, good, isn't you know, it? But it, it, does its, it does what it's meant to do at the end of the day. You manage to, work. put it this way, if you can build it, from the instructions, then you don't need any more instructions. No, exactly. Yeah, they're, they're clear okay. enough as they they're clear enough. Mm. Know, which is all you need. You just need it to be clear, and they are. To be fair, does it give you um, the, when you're building it? Does it give you uh, length of the links and yep, all that? Yeah, they're here, mate. So the link, the, the link length is all there. If you look here, so the steering link is 100 mil. The chassis linkages is four of them. Mm -hmm. um, so the four long ones are for the back. Uh, and then the four, there's there's three short ones, that, and the middle, the link itself is the same as the panard. So there's the panard is 56 mil, they're 60 mil. The one bit that was confusing for me, if you look here, it's got four links at this length, 36, which is the ones you use for the chassis links, the three at the front and the panard. And then this one here, where it says they're 70 by two, they're not 70, they're about 60. They're much, much shorter, but when you've put the rod ends on, that's what makes the these ones, which are then 82. All right, that's I was like, well, I haven't got any links that length, but actually, they've got that number wrong, and they, they make this one up fine. So it's, it's all good. That's easy enough to yeah. take out there, I mean, I mean well, I'm just gonna, I'm they're not all perfect, are they? No, crikey, no. I mean, you look at some <laughs> other kits and stuff, and people are like, how do you do this, and how do you do that? You know, um, I tell you, this is this was quite interesting. I don't know if you can see this on here or not, but um, yep. once you've um, so obviously you put the the drive shaft together just in a normal way. You put the little pin. You know, I'll just get a I'll get a thing to point with. Maybe something different than that. There we go. I we'll use this one here. We go. Oh look! Oh look! I'm just sponsored by MIP. I wish. <laughs> um, so you put the little ball link in there and then you put the pin through the lot of them and the spring that's very it's a very cheap and easy way to do it the only thing i would say is they do that in the bomb though yeah the bomb's similar i think the the charisma scale adventure co e and the sea 1a platform they've all got this spring here as well it's not a massive issue and a lot of people are putting um a bit of shrink wrap around it or you know uh is it just to stop that pop popping and it's off, just yeah? To, yeah, it's just to stop the little pin, which it's difficult to see now because I've put the spring on there, but the, the 
it's like the the pin that goes in your hex for the wheels it goes through and it joins the whole universal joint together well, there's um, no plastic in there it's just no a, plastic. It's metal it's all metal it's and it's it's, it's got to be said it's it's pretty nice what threw me slightly was i was like well how does that Ooh. how does that yeah I don't know if you can see it or not on there. Yeah. How does <laughs> how does that dog bone fit into there? And I was like, that's a bit odd. That's that's not going to fit, is it? That's, they've made a mistake there. But actually, I think it shows somewhere. And if it doesn't, it's literally. Can you see this? I'm not sure if you can see this. Yeah, cool. You take that at an angle to the slot. Yep. Put one end in like that. Push it through. And hey, presto, look, <laughs> it's in and it works, right? And I was like, that's clever. I quite like that. So if you do break them, or if they come off, you know, if it comes out for some reason, it's actually quite easy to put back in. And again, it's metal, and, you know, there's enough metal on it in all the right places. I mean, that's relatively thick there. You know, the dog bone is probably a little bit short, but you don't want it sticking out too far. You can get caught and stuff. But, you know, so it's, it fits in just... And it falls out again, but I just thought that was quite neat. To be well, honest. if you don't, if you don't I extend it all the way out and then give it a bit yeah. of an angle, it, unless you know the front one is. So once it's on, um, so just very quickly, without actually. Oh oh oh! Oh yeah, done it! Yay! It's on. Yeah, so that's the front one on. Um, and obviously that's all it's moving. It's like, you know, so it's not getting seven or eight, eight, it's seven or eight mil. Yeah, it's not getting to seven mil. It's, it's not going to separate, it's, it's going to fit on there for me. So I think at the end of the day, that's, you know, you've not got to worry about it too much. I think that's, that works really nicely. Um, it's, a, it's a good system. Other manufacturers do the same thing. It works for them. You know, it's, it's working for this. It's, it's ideal, really. So yeah, pretty good. I'm just going to, <clears throat> so next job is um, yeah. I'm going to thread lock the oh yeah on. metal it's, everything has got to be thread locked yeah. because it will all fall apart basically so, I don't know if uh, this is a I saw somebody else do this on YouTube another channel if I could remember who it was I would say but I can't so instead of trying to get your grub screw and fart ass about on here mm -hmm. Um, what they did, they just got a little, one of the bags and stuff, and, oh yeah, all the bags, the bags are all Ziploc bags, brilliant now. I just put a little bit of thread lock on a bit of plastic, and then these are some of the smallest, most awkward. They are really tiny little grub screws, I mean. Grub screws I've ever come across in my life. I the same. Um, right. Where's my other one, that was the one that said again. Uh, no, I want the other one mil. See, this is, I'm in a mess. I've, I've not tied it up for the last technical difficulty. Yeah, I've, I've, this, my MIP one doesn't quite fit in the little tiny silly grub screw, and I found it. So, this is my um, team associated uh, factory team. Ooh thing that I put when I got my element kit and stuff I bought this you know fits in nice and tidy easy to take on the trail comes apart you know um, and it's got oh god what size are they one and a half two two Is and a half on it? yeah it's written on it if you can just you can just about see just there just there one and a half um, they're really nice actually and they fit in spot on they also fit in my little drill uh, my electric screwdriver that I use as well so that's quite neat that's for wheel nuts perfect size for wheel nuts and this is an M3 nut for everything else but it's perfect um, it also comes with a half mil which is tiny it's absolutely tiny um, and none of, any of them uh, rounded out or anything like that? Nothing so far. They've been really, really good. Ooh. So, because these grub screws, I know that everything is small these days, but well, they are tiny, they are they? so small, man. Um, so yeah, this, this is what I now have to tie. Sorry, tidy up. Noisy, noisy, rattle, rattle. So uh, I just 
literally going to just put a little bit of thread lock on the end of the grub screw and then there's a flat part on the out pinion out drive shaft and then I'm just going to screw that into there there's a flat part on it so just I'm just hand tightening it because the thread lock will sort it um, oh. pulls on the floor already <laughs> <laughs> I've dropped a bit of the uh, sorry, I'm sorry. A bit and of the, um, winch cover. I know I've got to try and find the other ones. Excuse my big hands again, but uh, where is it there? It's there, look. That one into there with the thread lock on. Again, just I'm just doing it finger tight because it doesn't need to be tight on that because the thread lock obviously holds oh, it solid. Exactly. So that's them two. Um, let me just get, oops, another one. So Paul, is this, is this us doing a build video? Well, it's not really, no, so it's, it's like not a finish build, off and it's, it's like a, kind of, a you know, finish off video. This is the bit that everybody needs to know because there's hundreds of build videos on these things. Yeah. But this is our experience, our experience of what it. the first WPL metal kit is like. Yeah, because I'm not, I, I'm, I don't know, you've, you've had WPL stuff before, haven't you? I've, yeah, I've got a B1 and a C14. Well, see, I've, I've never had one. No, this is your, yeah. This is my first one of this size, and this, oh. that's and, very and much tight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> said, <laughs> said the vicar. She said. <laughs> she said. Come on, we've got um, to get a she said in there somewhere. <laughs> that's just a little, that's a, you know, as everybody knows, you watch Medic. Every, every he's a legend everything. everybody watches RC Sparks he's an absolute legend the man and uh, yeah so if you get a chance you've got to say she said I think we all agree that's what she said that's it that is what she said so that's another one in there just in case you're wondering Sean has this on hand and what he's done is put the grease in the front and rear axle you put any grease in the gearbox? I'm taking it apart, not touched it. Right, okay. But it came, the bag it came in yes. was like oily Ooh. inside. I had to wipe it down because it was just like, ugh. So maybe there is so some I'm kind of coating in, in Yeah, there. there must be a coating of some kind already in it, to be right. honest, because it just, it was like, ugh, that's horrible when I opened it. I looked and I was like, oh, it looks like it's got a load of water in it. But it was just greasy, so oh, really? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just guessing that it... Um, Right, this one is not quite in the right place, I don't think, so I'm just going to use a bit more force to just get that grub screw in. There we go. don't know if anybody knows, can you get metal gears to go in the uh, transfer box? I don't know. Because I've got a two-speed one that um, Tom the RC sent me, and that's plastic gears. Right, OK. Um, but they've really got really thick teeth on them. Yeah. So they do fail, but I think that's when right. you're shifting when you're driving. Yeah, yeah. If you shift when you're stationary, oh, okay, yeah. I think that might be better. It might be. It <clears throat> might be better for it. I um, I'm not sure. I don't know whether I'm. I was disappointed or pleased. I don't know really because mm -hmm. again, I've had no experience of these. But the um, the gears, the crown and pinion. Um, they're brass. Oh, are they? Yeah, they're brass. They're not metal. Metal. Like steel, they're brass, so they're cheap, I think. And I know it says it's all metal and stuff, but that is a metal. It is brass, is metal. It is a metal, but yeah. I was expecting them to be steel, to be honest. Um, but they're not, so Ooh. that's that's something to be aware of. I mean, when I put it together, um, if you do these screws here, these bolts, these four bolts up too tight, and also if you clamp down to the truss too tight then the the crown and pinion just makes so much noise they really grind so you just just be careful when you do that you don't over tighten that it does say stuff about not over tightening the shocks when you attach them but to be honest with you don't over tighten these four on the, the diff cover and the four that attach the truss front and back just put it together and try it and then you know turn it and you'll go, oh, that's, that sounds a little bit a bit meaty and a bit grindy. So then just back them off a little bit. And then do it, and that's and it's lovely and smooth. It's very quiet, lovely and smooth. But yeah, just check that.
They do feel okay when you like turn them. Yeah, they've got wide, don't they? Mm. They've got quite nice, yeah. yeah. Um, right, what else have I got to put on it? You, well, I'd say next is to drive shafts are on wheels. I've got to put the wheels together. Uh, you have to glue the wheels. Up. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, you got to glue the um, wheels and tires. Oh yeah, they sent me these. I didn't order these. Oh, will wait. Yeah. Yeah, these came in the box, and um, I've got to admit, are you ready for a lump? <laughs> That's a lot of noise, man. That's a lot. Look at that big. That's a lot of weight. Well, weight, you know. Yeah. They're really weighty. Um. That's the wheel. Looks quite. Looks quite nice. Could do with a bit of a uh, detail on on the outside, like maybe some white paint somewhere. Yeah, I've got maybe. one of them. I've got a paint pen. I've got one of those Pisco oh, yeah, yeah. paint uh -huh. pens. And as a tyre, lots of people do these things, don't they? That's not bad for a little cheapo tyre. Relatively sticky. Nice and sticky, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite sticky. It's soft. I think it's gonna. You know, looks like right, looks it? like it's going to grip alright. There's other options as well. You can buy other tyres, can't you? Other wheels and well, tyres. Yes, you can. Yeah. So what's the idea with this? Is then do you what they do? You get they go on like one each side, obviously. In that little bag here, there's some clips. little spring clip thing. That's it. And Jesus. they just go in, in there. But what they what people have found is to glue these down onto the thing because they rattle a little bit. Okay. There's a bit of play. Well, I tell you, if you look at that now, when that's in there. That's then going to take some of the... It's going to take some squish, some of the wave. squish out. Because there's no foams, so... Yeah. That's that's um, interesting. In the, for long, yeah, right? but if you, if you for instance, want to take, if you take that off and you just got your tyre in there and you don't want to squash this down all the way because this is really thin. Yeah, I suppose it's going to give you some side support, isn't it? Yeah. Like siderly type stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. In a way. Yeah, exactly. It gives it the support, mm. the wall of the tyre as well. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to put them in because. Oh yeah, you've got to put them. In I'm the going to put them in because I think at the end of the day they're going to. It's going to need it because it's. It is a very light truck, um, chassis wise, and you know I think um, as as we all play with our cars, the first thing that a lot of us do when we modify or the first thing that we upgrade on our cars is the wheels and tyres. Um, so what we should probably do is. Look at weighting these straight away, because I think that's what we do on every all the one tenth scale, don't we? The first people say, "Oh, tire weights, tire weights." Pretty, pretty much. Real weights, and, and we do and some of them. Sometimes on some of my cars, I, I haven't. Uh okay, so what I'm doing here is building the supplied winch for the uh, okay, the cane the. WPL44 okay there's no instructions with this whatsoever so we're not just doing test fitting and that bit there seems to go on there okay tiny little screws Still don't know. I think that goes on there, one. It's not a bit too big to me. Okay, we've had a little discussion, and we are saying that these go in here. But the screws are really tight, and it looks as though the the actual uh, doing a bad job of dis describing this. It looks as though they only just fit before that gear there for the um, for the actual winch itself to work. Really fiddly stuff. This is. And if it's not exactly in frame, I do apologise. It's because I'm sitting in front of the camera and not behind it. <laughs> I 
the shelf for the winches, magnetic, and it's put in the screw. <laughs> You see that the wall one just down there. Mm -hmm. Two side, one on either side, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's it. This is gripping YouTube footage. This is amazing. <laughs> Too big then? No, it's, it's, about, it's about right. It's about right, the one in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. So it's got to go in there like that. Mm -hmm. Bosh. In like that, yeah? Mm. Sorry, people. This is where I wish I had really slim fingers. I don't know what it is about blokes are built like us. Most of them little toys. <laughs> no, it's like, what are you doing? It's the most stupid thing to be doing, isn't it? So there, got it. Got it. God, it's fiddly, isn't it, man? That is proper fiddly. I've got it right on the hole. <laughs> and now I'm screwing it, and it it doesn't want to go in. Is it pre-lubricated? Well, I think that, that could be the problem, It's mate. going in dry. It's going in dry. And also, the fact that the motor's magnetised and the shaft is magnetised. Onto, it? I don't even know if it's the right place for the screw to go. Yeah, that is. It, it lines up, yeah. Mm. It lines up when you put the other... It's only, because they can't go in them other ones, because they're just, look, they're mm -hmm. just big holes. Yeah. I mean, it could go in there, but then that... It won't line up. But then that won't line up, so that, that's completely squint, so it can't go in there. Where's that screw going, that one? 
Does this go run that old thing? Just so you can have a look. If you want to know how to build something, go and check this guy out. Yeah, don't worry about us. <laughs> yeah, forget it. Yeah, we don't know nothing. <laughs> We're just two numpties with a load of screws that we don't know where they go. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah, Wheels RC, it's brilliant. Yeah. Go and watch another channel. Yeah. <laughs> How to promote yourself on YouTube. Oh man, that's well, now I've got it upside down. <laughs> but they never said that, Paul. Go mm. and watch somebody else's channel. See, no one shows this kind of stuff. There's a reason no one shows this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, but this is what this is this is real life, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is like, you know, fir first world problems. <laughs> Uh, yeah. First world of problems. <laughs> yeah, do you know how like the world's in panic about coronavirus, yeah, or it's called yeah. coronavirus? We can't yeah. get these screwed. We're not stuff. bothered in the slightest bit. At the end of the day, we're going to sit here for however many hours it takes to get this little screw in this hole. Uh, meanwhile, there's people, unfortunately, being, <laughs> being infected with this terrible thing, and we're going, "What's happening in the world?" Mm. I don't know. I'm just all I'm doing is watching YouTube videos and trying to build a little car. Come on, man, that's ridiculous. That is not gripping that hole at all. No, hang on. Need okay. two screws. Right, okay. So let's have a look at. So you've got these three here, and these two. There should be another one of those, hopefully, still. Okay, so. We've given it a tickle <laughs> with a body river, with a body river. <laughs> in the hole just to like bore it out a little bit <laughs> so this sodding screw will go in. <laughs> oh, do you know what? This is the best fun, man. Yeah. This is. <laughs> and if you think we're sad because this is the best fun, you're completely right. So, this, this the thing is, right? So, you, you sit here in the evening or during the day and you're doing this by yourself and you're like, ah, ah. And you're just going mental. But see, when you've got somebody sitting next to you, it's you actually, laugh at them. <laughs> It's the only time that you can, when you get stressed about something not working, you can laugh about it. Because this... Does it need more of a tickle with the body room? Oh, mate, I don't know what is going on with that, but that is... Should it go in there? I, yeah. really, I really don't know anywhere else. There's nowhere else for it to go. The stupid thing can go. <laughs> Whose idea was it to do, build these little cars? It might have been us, mate. Was it our idea? I think it might have been. I don't think it was. I think it was probably... Who can we blame? I think it was Lenny. Lenny Hogston. It was yeah. his idea. Yeah. Hogston, he's the, he's your one, fault. He's the <laughs> one that wanted to... Yeah, it's his fault. Totally, he's the one that wanted to build a small-scale course. Right, that's it. God. It's your fault. Lenny Hogston. It's your fault, mate got to blame somebody and he's got broad shoulders he can cope with it well, oh, see once again we're having oh problems with a magnetized shaft <laughs> see that sounds wrong as well in go in you get in you get in you get in you get oh man alive you can't just put the screw on there and no you can't place it before you screw it you got to like you know it's a good job you can't see our faces. You've just got to go straight in. <laughs> You've got to go straight in. Is it working? No, come on. Well, if you have to. Mm -hmm. So I keep, yeah, we'll keep, keep rolling, 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 we'll hide. That's all this might just be like trash, just dump it all. <laughs> End up with a three minute video with one of us laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Best content ever. I'll tell you what, mate, if this video goes up, yeah, mm -hmm. and it gets more than like 10 views. 
I'll be amazed. So will I. <laughs> <laughs> and I will laugh myself silly. It all depends if the video goes up and it gets more than four minutes run time. Because normally people click off after four minutes or so. Oh, but come on, we're just laughing our heads off. Yeah. Surely people want to watch something where, where two grown men mm -hmm. are struggling to do up a tiny screw. And... Have you done it? You've only bloody done it, look at that. We are, we are, we are, this is recording, isn't it? Yes, mate. Are you sure? Absolutely positive. Red lights, Red lights on. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. I'm even going to put the end on the thingy look. That's how, <laughs> that's how excited I am. He needs more, um, what is it? Leverage. Yeah. Don't screw it in too much because you strip it out. I've got to get it flat on the yeah. thing. Oh! Is it in there? You bloody bullies as well. Two thumbs up. Get in! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, both screws are clearing the. Uh... <laughs> what a fucking hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, do you know what? I'm so chuffed about that. Uh, I'm going to go and make another coffee. Oh yeah, okay. Because uh, I've used up all my coffee inside of me doing that. Yeah. I need more now. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous in the last. That's ridiculous, that can't go like that, surely. Or is that just another... I think that's how it goes together. That's got a little hole in it. Can't see because of the light. A little hole just there that the uh, the thread goes through. Okay, so it turns out that was right because everything's going together. Uh, the spindle's on. Point. Pointy thing. It's a pointy thing, though. Pointy thing. The spindle's on. Those two screws are really tight going into the brass there, but they clear all the gears. You can't see the other one because he's buried in there somewhere. And now you've just got to thread these longer screws on with the shiny metal bits, which I will attempt to do here and probably fail miserably. I have to take eight attempts to do it. Ring a bit. I apologise, you cannot see nothing because it turns out it takes two grown men to assemble a small ass winch. So, all the screws are in there and now the spindle's falling out. There we go. Yeah, hey. We're probably going to find this is all wrong and we have to take it all apart. I like that. But that won't be the first time, does it? Oh, I love it, mate. By which it's already assembled. That yeah, is my, that, that is my think, advice. Actually, that's probably the best advice we can give anybody is buy the winch, the winch ready assembled. Because it is really, really... It's really fiddly. Fiddly. After this, you got the fun of putting the winch, winch line in there and tying a knot in it. We seem to have been given two spindles as well. See if one breaks. That's good to spare. Mm -hmm. 
And there are lots. There's, there's loads of screws left over from the build anyway. Okay. That looks squint as anything. Is that just twisted? Oh, that's fine. That's better. Isn't it? You got the right ones in there because that looks proper wonky. It does look wonky, doesn't it? That looks really wonky. That looks very much like the wonky donkey from the story. Is there another one to go? In? I'm guessing that's not right. Sitting okay until I put that third one in. Would you say that's sitting alright? It looks better now. But the spindle's coming out again. No, it's not sitting in the middle, is it? Properly, that's what it is. That, that's it. That's 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 better, like that. Same length, I take it as well. Those three bars, yeah. All the screws are the same length. I'm doing the screws up one little, little bit at a time because I'm guessing well, the spindle the same length. Yeah, I think so. Slightly little bit. Hmm. Okay, what we've done is uh, pre-threaded the uh, the holes where the screws are going through because it didn't seem to want to line up. So we're having another go. The thread wasn't all the way through. You know, it was difficult to get. Yeah, it's very difficult. These ones, I know they're self tappers, but they're very big self tappers, and I just don't think it was enjoying going in there very much and trying to self tap itself. Yeah, in the in the plastic. So, yeah, we've just put a different. Took it apart. Pre-threaded some holes and pre-threaded them, and then we're putting these back in, and they're going in much better, and that's now straight. Look at that! Yeah. Excellent. So let's just do that up. So well, that's it. It's tight. I'm just doing it finger tight, mate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no point getting any tighter, is there? No. Nope. The plastic would just hold the screw steady. Yeah, and then that's. It. There you go. There you go. That's the winch uh, built. Can't say I done it because I didn't. And uh, combined effort. Combined effort. And then we got got soldering to do with the uh, the wires there, and we've got to somehow thread the uh, the winch wire through. Okay, so we're getting to the wiring stage now, as you can see, and as you can see here, it's got motor. Um, connections just there. This is the WPL uh, soundboard and ESC all in all in one. And then what you need is the uh, female, sorry, the male clip the bit that goes on well, a bit a bit there. So it says the motor, which is the third one where my thumb is, just there. So you need one of them, and not. One of them. So, a little bit of soldering just to um, sort the wires on the motor end, and we'll get back to you. Right, so we've got the proper wire on the motor now. Just, sorry, just to mess you about. See? That's not going to fit either. Okay, so we've got the wire on the motor just there, and according to our the diagram, the motor connection is just there. Oh. 
plus and minus pluses that way. Like that. Okay. Positive and negative. So plus at the top, minus at the bottom. Plus at the top, minus at the bottom. Like that. These WPL uh, winch positions are a bit, um, they're just a push fit, is that right, Sean? Um, yes, they're just, they're just yeah, the, 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 the servo just literally fits in there and you put these two screws and it holds the servo in place. But you reckon it's quite right. right. And uh, sometimes it's a bit dodgy. So in spare RC bits that we've got hanging around, if you put that across there, you get a really stable uh ser servo servo mounting so we're going to go ahead and do that now okay so it's everything wired up including battery to go on to the uh onto the um circuit board but it seems that you need a switch you just say on and off there in that middle one and we don't seem to have one here which is a pain and rather disappointing. Um, we'll get back to you. No pressure, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. If possible, doing this, you need to put shrink wrap around each one, but if only. We ain't got the string wrap here, so a bit of electrical tape will do. We've only got big string wrap. Mm. We've only got big string wrap because we're big blokes. <laughs> do you want to hold it and I'll do the tape? Well, you've done it, mm. mate. Go on, yeah, you hold them, them. Mm -hmm. I'll do that bit. at a crucial moment after making an on off switch got our 3S battery here uh, we've got the WPL um, transmitter waiting for a signal stand by for blasting right ok 3, 2, 1 We have oh, power. Lights are flashing. Uh, oh, you have to do something here. So the lights are flashing. We've got no extra ex external heat, but nothing else is happening. So. What's the uh, binding procedure for this? Because this binds to itself every time you switch it on. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? You have to wait for it to bind. Mm. So, well, shall I ask? Okay. Yeah, we're going to ask Google. There's a binding procedure that you go through with this, because every time you switch this on, it will have that green flashing light. Um, and these lights flash until it gets a signal. But I pushed the button on top of here, don't know which one I did, and squeezed the trigger and it stopped. The steering servo has gone all the way over to the left. We're looking on YouTube. best information can be found. Yeah? Yep. So let's try it the other way around. Turn that on. So what we're gonna do now, we've done a quick check with our diagram we got over here and um, to look on there. So turn that on. Turn the car on. We 
difficult power because that noise you heard was the servo maxing out to the right. And the lights are flashing. The lights are flashing. Okay, try the try the steering or the power. So what we've got to do is bind it first, like that. Okay. But we have nothing at all. Hmm. And now we've got power. Power went. Ah, right, okay. So turn that off. Turn that on. Turn that, turn the receiver on. This is the way it's supposed to be done, isn't it? The receiver yeah. goes on, then the car goes on. But no light, oh, there you go, right. So now it's waiting for a signal. And now you just... Oh, I'm listening for noises. Twice four. Okay, now press the button again. Press Right, so the lights go out, which is right, and the green light's on, which is right. Mm -hmm. Give it some throttle. Nothing. No steering, no throttle. <sighs> and, and the dog wants to... So we don't got no idea, are we? No. I literally have no idea because I don't do electric. It's on. Is the controller on? Because I forgot to turn it off. Controller's on, doing what it's supposed to do. All flashing. Yep. Press the button. Lights go out, which is correct. Still no steering, still no throttle. Right. Okay. In times like this, you have to reach out to the RC community. And our RC community is Mr. Phil Harrison from Tommy's RC. Yeah. So let's ask him, shall we? Yeah. Okay, so if you're working on your WPL and it's not playing ball, okay, this here, as Mr. Harrison has just pointed out, is a switch it switches it from car one to car two just there okay and he says try pressing bind and hold down both and then hold both buttons down for a few seconds and see if that works so let's see if that works shall we we have our battery array the uh, connectors are a bit loose and okay so it's uh, we haven't got a connect you need you need your off switch as well which we've got here because we made one no you're all right mate no problems from there actually back on So, push that on, the lights are flashing, push that on, and you bind it, and then, um, the car one to select the tab on the board, 
we have to hold down both buttons to get it on. Okay, so let's turn that off again and turn the car off. it would help if I've got a battery with the bleeding connectors not all loose in the uh, on the circuit board wouldn't it and the on off switch has come off right everything's set on off switch on Lights are flashing. Just learn. Transmitter on. In the background just there. Oh. Lights are still on. Listen, got it. Think about. Oh. That's going backwards. That's going forwards. Okay. We have to do sort the motor wires over. Oh, all that. We got power. We have steering. Oh, what's that? Look at your axles. Go on in. Are oh, you joking me? They're going off the bloody directions. <laughs> have you done that? There's only one way to put the diff in. I've got to put it upside down. I bet that needs to be sorted. You need to turn the diff over. Yeah. Okay, so when you're building it, be aware that if you hang about, but the, that diff is, the back diff is running the front, running right, the front is running backwards. So how do you turn that over? Oh, well, if I turn that one over and sort the wires. It Just may, something. it may work, yeah. One thing I want to try, hold on a minute, is to switch it all off again. Because I really want to hear this work. Let's turn it all off. This is the speaker for the, the engine, the motor. Let's do that again. Let's switch it on. The lights are flashing. Let's switch that on. Listen. is make all that fit in there. Don't shake. Oh, the dog's down here shaking on the leaf. So put it off. That's cool. Brilliant. Thank you, Mr. Harrison. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Next time you see this, it will be on our one Sorry, on our sports scale course at BRCC.
Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.